Good afternoon, everybody. This is Sangeeta Saxena, editor, Aviation and Defense Universe, getting you live from DACI Japan at Chiba. And this is day two, and our interview for the day is BAE Systems, which is one of India's very old association and one of my key targets to interview here at DACI Japan. And we have with us Tom Reich, who's the president and executive manager of BAE Systems in Japan. Welcome, Tom, to ADU's chat room. Wonderful to have you here. I would really like to understand what is BAE doing in Japan? Well, we've been in Japan for more than 25 years. Uh, until now, most of our business has been from the United States subsidiary of BAE. And most of the products we have been selling in Japan are combat vehicles, naval guns, and electronic systems, mainly for fighter planes. Uh, GCAP, however, has entered the scene in a very big way with the announcement by the UK, Japan, and Italy last December about the formation of a partnership to produce a new sixth generation fighter. And uh, like you said, it's a long relationship with Japan. So what is the system? BAE has its manufacturing lines here. What does it do? Is the, are there some licensed productions? What does it actually do? We don't do any manufacturing by ourselves in Japan. We do license produce the Mark 45 five inch naval gun. Uh, by our licensee Japan Steelworks. They make that naval gun at their factory in Hiroshima. And uh, Hiroshima? Yes. Well, that's wonderful to see that the place like Hiroshima also has such factories. It's yeah. really nice to see yeah. it's the growth, which has been wonderful. And also tell me, does that also result into a lot of job creation for the localites? It definitely does uh, for our licensee, JSW. Um, yeah, I visited their factory before. It's a very impressive facility. It employs quite a few people, and JSW makes almost all of the gun themselves. We supply a few parts and components, but 95% is made by JSW. Oh, that's, a, that's great to know that, you know. And in addition to JSW, what else? Well, I mentioned uh, the combat vehicles. These are amphibious vehicles that we sold to the Japanese ground self-defense forces. That was just a few years ago. We're in discussions now about an arrangement to maintain and sustain these vehicles. And of course, we have a variety of electronic systems that are on Japanese aircraft now, such as the F-35. The F-35 is kind of interesting because two large parts of BAE each have separate roles in the F-35. The U.S. part supplies the sophisticated electronic warfare system. The British part of BAE actually builds the aft fuselage of every F-35. And, uh, you know, when we talk of uh, F-35, we, uh, you know, it takes us back to uh, our very original question, which doesn't seem very original here, mm -hmm. which is that uh, BAE, a British company, Japan, a partner in a very major global partnership, which we see here in GCAP. Mm -hmm. So how is a GCAP uh, role, uh, which BAE envisages for itself here? Because you have IHI, which is going to be a part of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, what what is the role which BAE would be playing uh, to put put uh, GCAP forth? You know? Sure, uh, GCAP is is interesting for many reasons. Um, one reason is it's the first major weapons development program that Japan has ever entered into with international partners other than the United States. Uh, this is going to be Britain and Italy joining with Japan to build a future generation fighter. Uh, I, I think it has a very sound basis. Japan, about six years ago, decided to create its own indigenous future fighter. About the same time, Britain did the same thing. Both countries' vision for a future fighter is quite similar. A large twin-engine fighter 
uh, which will enjoy the latest stealth technology, the latest data link technology, and have a very large payload of weapons. I think it was almost written in the stars that eventually these two countries would see the value in partnering with each other to combine their technology and lower the unit costs. Italy entered that partnership. They have their own technology centers that will contribute to this. So it's kind of exciting to see it come together. And is there a role BAE plays in developing the supply chain management for GCAP in Japan? Sure. Uh, BAE has a fairly long history of participating in international fighter development programs. The Eurofighter, uh, before that the Tornado, before that the Jaguar. So BAE has had a long experience in doing that. Uh, we're going to bring that expertise to the partnership. Now, exactly what roles each partner is going to have in the end is being worked out now. Uh, so we, we're not prepared to comment yet on work chair and who does what. I think, however, it is safe to say this is going to be a true partnership where each partner contributes meaningfully to the new fight. And uh, with uh, with BAE having a big setup in Japan, uh, is there is there a future plan to start some manufacturing, uh, setting up some lines here in Japan? Like many of the countries today in today's world, feel that you know they want a make in their country program, mm -hmm. so uh, you know to en enhance self reliance. Now, is that some plan which the J Japanese government has and BAE has some? to offer? Well, I can't comment yet regarding GCAP on what will be manufactured where. I think it's safe to say each partner will have a manufacturing role. Uh, as a philosophy, BAE has every intention of expanding manufacturing in Japan. We are in the business, you might say, of making partners. We have some now. We want to make more, and we do want to engage in manufacturing or co-manufacturing in Japan. That's part of our basic strategy in this country. And uh, keeping that in mind, have you decided on a partner from the Japanese industry? For GCAP or others? For, uh, no, not for GCAP, for others. Oh, I see. That's the sort of very, very exciting work that we're doing now. Which uh, new products that we bring to the market are really good candidates for local co-manufacturer or co-development? Uh, you know, the word manufacturer can actually be a rather broad spectrum. It could mean co-developing something, it could be co-producing it. There's also an important aspect of maintaining and sustaining the product after it's made. Uh, we're looking at all three phases of manufacture in Japan. Uh, and some products will lend themselves more readily to one of these areas than others. Uh, we're looking at all of them. And uh, when you talk of maintenance, uh, does BAE have a plan to uh, partner with some MRO in Japan or to set up its own MRO here in Japan? Yeah, you know, I referred to the amphibious vehicles that the ground self-defense force is operating now. Uh, we uh, look forward to having a role in maintaining and sustaining those, but most of the work, I expect, will be done by a Japanese partner. So, uh, is there anything you would like to add about this show here? It's the second time we are having it, sure. and uh, this time is bigger than 2019. Yes. For BAE Systems in Japan, uh, how does it reflect? Well, this show is exciting. Uh, it's been four years since the first DSCI Japan was held. COVID intervened and shut down not only DSCI Japan, but any large gathering. And with the, the opening of this show, uh, we feel that finally the COVID era is over in Japan. It feels good to be standing here talking to you, to be honest. Uh, we've had so many people visit our stand from the Japanese government, from the Japanese armed forces, uh, from other countries as well, from industry. It's been a whirlwind. Uh, and I really feel at last we're in a post-COVID world and life has returned to normal. It's worth noting that Japan's new defense policy, I think, has had a big impact in this show. 
I think interest in defense and the defense industry in Japan has really skyrocketed. Uh, so it's an exciting environment. We think it's a fertile environment, and we're looking forward to being part of it as it unfolds. Thank you so much. It was wonderful speaking with you, Tom. And I think, you know, when the next time you are here for the next DACI, I'm sure you'll have lots more to talk about. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank uh -huh. you.